Did you know that the secrets of an ancient civilization lie beneath the sands of Egypt waiting to be rediscovered? Welcome to a voyage that spans thousands of years where the mystique and grandeur of ancient Egypt captivates hearts and imaginations around the world. This civilization, one of the oldest and most influential in human history, has left behind more than just pyramids and monumental statues. It has woven a rich tapestry of cultural and scientific achievements that continue to fascinate scholars and adventurers alike. Today, our exploration will take us on a chronological journey through Egypt's history, from the formation of the earliest dynasties to the grandeur of later periods. Each chapter of this story unfolds like a scroll of papyrus, rich with tales of gods, pharaohs, and the ingenuity of a people whose legacy has stood the test of time. So buckle up as we travel back in time to where it all began. Imagine a world where pharaohs rule and pyramids rise from the sands. This was the reality over 5,000 years ago when the early dynasties of Egypt began to shape a civilization that would capture the imagination of the world for millennia. Our story starts around the year 3100 BC, when a significant event occurred, the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt. The figure central to this monumental change was Pharaoh Nama, sometimes known as Menes. He is often depicted wearing the double crown, symbolizing his rule over both regions. This unification not only marked the beginning of the first dynasty, but also set the foundations for the cultural and political landscape of ancient Egypt. As the societal structure solidified under the rule of these early pharaohs, a remarkable invention emerged that would become a cornerstone of Egyptian legacy, hieroglyphics. This intricate system of writing used symbols to represent sounds and concepts, allowing Egyptians not just to record their history and daily life, but also to express their beliefs and traditions. Hieroglyphics etched on temple walls and tombs preserved the thoughts and deeds of a civilization long past. Parallel to the development of writing, the architectural prowess of the Egyptians began to manifest in the construction of the first pyramids. The Step Pyramid of Djoser, constructed during the Third Dynasty by the architect Imhotep, was a revolutionary structure. It was the world's first large-scale cut stone construction, a precursor to the Grand Pyramids of Giza. These pyramids were not merely tombs, but a testament to the architectural innovation and the religious depth of the ancient Egyptians, who believed these monuments were gateways to the afterlife. With the rise of these early dynasties, Egypt experienced a period of immense creativity and growth. The foundations lay during these times, political unity, written language, and monumental architecture would propel the civilization into an era of prosperity and grandeur. With these early dynasties, the stage was set for a flourishing civilization. Enter the age where Egypt's most iconic symbols were born. The Old Kingdom of Egypt, often hailed as the Age of the Pyramids, represents a pivotal era in the annals of ancient Egypt, lasting from around 2600 to 2100 BC. This period saw Egypt rise to an unprecedented level of sophistication and power primarily through the centralization of authority under the pharaohs, who were revered not just as kings, but as gods on earth. At the heart of the Old Kingdom's grandeur were the Great Pyramids of Giza and the Enigmatic Sphinx. These monumental structures were not just tombs or statues, but symbols of the pharaohs' divine roles and their eternal legacies. The largest of these, the Great Pyramid of Khufu, stands as a testament to the architectural ingenuity and organizational prowess of the Egyptians. During this era, the pharaohs wielded absolute power, which enabled the establishment of a highly centralized government. This system was supported by an extensive bureaucracy, including viziers, scribes and officials, who helped maintain the pharaoh's authority across the land. However, the seeds of the Old Kingdom's decline were sown by the very system that established its initial success. Over-reliance on the pharaoh's divinity led to political instability, especially as successive rulers struggled to uphold the same level of authority. Coupled with severe famines that struck the region, the societal structure began to crumble, eventually leading to the fall of the Old Kingdom around the 21st century BC. Thus concluded the Old Kingdom, leaving behind monumental legacies. As with all great civilizations, Egypt too found its path to rebirth. Following the turbulence of the First Intermediate Period, the Middle Kingdom emerged as a beacon of stability and prosperity around 2050 BC. This era was marked by a resurgence of the central authority, now firmly re-established in the city of Thebes, 
The pharaohs of this period, particularly those of the 12th dynasty, are celebrated for their visionary leadership. One of the most notable advancements during the Middle Kingdom was in the realm of art and literature. Sculptors began to produce more lifelike statues, not just of pharaohs and gods, but also of ordinary people reflecting a more democratic appreciation of the human experience. Literature flourished with works like The Tale of Sinuhe, which explored themes of personal identity and divine providence, casting light on the values and emotions of the time. In architecture, the period saw the construction of some of Egypt's most impressive temples and the expansion of the Karnak Temple Complex. Moreover, the pharaohs focused on massive irrigation projects that enhanced agricultural productivity, thereby boosting the economy. These projects not only increased the arable land, but also helped to stabilize the society politically by providing food security. The boundaries of Egypt were pushed further than ever before during this period, extending into Nubia to the south and across the Near East. This expansion helped to secure vital trade routes and brought a wealth of resources into Egypt, further solidifying its economic and political might. The Middle Kingdom set the stage for an even more glorious epic to follow. Now, let's witness Egypt at the height of its power. The New Kingdom of Egypt, spanning from around 1600 to 1100 BCE, marks a period when Egypt reached the zenith of its cultural, political, and military prowess. This era is vividly remembered as the Golden Age of Ancient Egypt, a time when pharaohs embarked on grandiose building projects and the borders of the empire expanded as never before. Among the most notable rulers of this period was Hatshepsut, one of the few female pharaohs. She is renowned not only for her prosperous rule but also for her ambitious building projects, including her magnificent temple at Deir el-Bari. Hatshepsut was a pharaoh who cleverly navigated her way through the patriarchal structures of her time, asserting her authority by adopting the full regalia of a traditional pharaoh. Following Hatshepsut, Thutmose III emerged, often dubbed the Napoleon of Ancient Egypt. His reign marked a series of military campaigns that expanded Egypt's territories to their furthest extents, stretching from the Euphrates in the north to Nubia in the south. The wealth that flowed into Egypt as a result of these conquests funded vast temple complexes and brought about a renaissance in art and culture. However, the New Kingdom is also notable for its religious upheaval. Akhenaten, a pharaoh who came to the throne in the 14th century BCE, upended centuries of traditional Egyptian beliefs by promoting the worship of a single god, Aten, the sun disk. His reign saw the temporary abandonment of numerous gods in favor of this solar deity, a radical shift that was largely resisted by the populace. Following Akhenaten's death, his young successor Tutankhamun restored the old gods and their temples, a move that reinstated traditional values and practices. Tutankhamun's reign, though short-lived, is famously immortalized by his treasure-filled tomb, discovered nearly intact in 1922. The New Kingdom era was a pinnacle of Egyptian culture and power, but all empires faced challenges. Every sunset is followed by a dawn. For ancient Egypt, what did the sunset bring? As the power of the pharaohs waned, ancient Egypt entered periods marked by turbulence and transformation. The once unassailable civilization faced numerous challenges, from external invasions to internal strife, signaling a profound shift in its historical trajectory. The decline began in earnest after the New Kingdom, as Egypt's political stability and economic power started to falter. The Nubians to the south seized control, instating their own dynasty and blending their culture with the entrenched Egyptian traditions. This period was characterized by a resurgence of art and architecture, reflecting a hybrid of Nubian and Egyptian influences. However, the respite was brief. Egypt soon found itself caught in the crosshairs of expanding empires. The Persians, under the command of Cambyses II, swept into Egypt, bringing it into the vast Persian Empire. The Persian rule was marked by a series of administrative changes and a degree of unrest among the local population. Following the Persians, Alexander the Great of Macedonia conquered Egypt with little resistance. His rule introduced Hellenistic culture, which mingled with local customs, giving rise to a unique blend that would characterize the Ptolemaic dynasty. The most famous of the Ptolemaic rulers, Cleopatra VII, struggled to maintain her power against the burgeoning might of Rome, ultimately witnessing Egypt's annexation as a province of the Roman Empire. 
Despite these tumultuous times, the legacy of ancient Egypt remains indelibly etched in the annals of history. The Egyptians' advancements in mathematics, medicine, and engineering were revolutionary. Their architectural feats like the pyramids continue to astound modern engineers. Moreover, the mystique of Egyptian culture, with its hieroglyphs, mummies, and pantheon of gods, continues to captivate the imagination of people around the world. Thus, ancient Egypt's echoes can still be heard in the corridors of time.